How's it going, Fiona? Pretty good, John. New. What's your bag? I've been playing games. <laughs> yeah, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> um, you may or may not know, Far Cry 2 came out this week. Um, well, so was it yesterday? Or the day before? Well, it was earlier on in the week, actually. Was it? Okay. Yeah, I didn't pick it up on the day it was released, but, you know, the week it was re released is okay, I guess. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is because Far Cry 2 was released on PC, PS3 and Xbox. Right, yes. So basically and all at once, too. I mean, sometimes games do yeah. come out for all three platforms, but often it's, um, you know, three, mm -hmm. maybe even six months later sometimes. Yeah. They kind of stagger it. Yeah. No, I mean, I held out for the longest time um, before picking up a, a, a console game, you know, the PS3. And, well, um, a console itself. In, in itself, game, yeah, 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 yeah. Any, anything. Um, but um, I'm impressed with it, but I still can't play first-person shooters <laughs> up on, on console. I mean, there's... You can't just get used to the... Uh, well, you can, can, but it's just so much slower. It's ridiculous. I mean, and everybody oh. who plays, you know, on both, all of it, yeah, consoles are a lot slower than PC games. As far so as targeting... Just the reaction and the, well, you, when you think about targeting using your mouse, it's a lot faster than trying to use a joystick to get your cursor. It's like, you sure it's hold still for a minute while I get my, cur my crosshair over the top of your head so I can shoot you in the head. Do you thing. think a teenager would agree with you? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, Everybody okay. I've spoken to. The same thing. Yes, they can. Some are a lot better than others at it, but there yeah. is no, no doubt um, I haven't spoken to anybody who, who actually plays both that says that consoles better for first person shooters than right. community okay. stuff. So you've got Far Cry 2 on PC, not on the yep. PS3, even though you do have one. Yep. Yep. Now, um, mainly because, as I said, I've, I've, did, I've, I've got Turok and I've got um, the Star Wars game, um, uh, uh, Force, Force Unleashed. Unleashed yep. And yeah, that's kind of okay because it's not, you're not really shooting using a lightsaber and using force powers and it's kind of AOE type stuff, so area of effect type right. spells, so you know, not a lot of targeting. So that works well. But yeah, games like this where you're shooting somebody, I can't see myself playing on a console. You might disagree. I don't know, you can argue that about that in our forums. But, it's, but um, I say PC for the win for as far as first person shooter maps is concerned. I'm running this at full detail, maximum detail, everything turned on. It's pretty gorgeous. Right, and what's your hardware specs? Well, it's the Black Widow PC that we've just rebuilt. Right. The series just started. Yes. So uh, we ended up with the um, 280. GTX, one gigabyte of RAM, DDR3 RAM on the graphics card, NVIDIA yep. card. Well, uh, I guess the other thing with this was um, yesterday, or actually again, it might have been the day before, um, NVIDIA released the Big Bang 2 beta drivers. Mm -hmm. And they did that to support Far Cry 2, correct? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Well, that's part of it. It's just like extra support in their SLI, basically. Um, Optimising well, the drivers. Yeah, it is, and also to support some of the DirectX 10.1 features mm. of Far Cry 2. Yeah. So, um, I, I had a bit of a play around with it. I'm a little bit concerned that it's a little bit console-y. The way you say, but unlike um, a lot of other a lot of first-person shoot 'em up games, the old Quake stuff and whatever else, hit escape, save, you save. Here, you have to find a save point. You know, you, oh, you go to your safe house and oh, save okay. it in your room, kind of like... Grand Theft Auto style, go into a room, save point, and you basically can't save So it save doesn't have the wife switch? No, no, we well, can <laughs> still hit escape, of course. And, and okay, and this pauses it. This pauses it, you can't actually save it. Glad to know that, right? Yeah, you need, <laughs> you need that, that feign death, the wife escape key type thing in <laughs> any game. It's, um, yes, to avoid the wife aggro. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's Far Cry 2, so uh, that, this but, is okay, probably one okay, of the biggest... So you need your one gripe with the save feature. But, but I mean, apart I mean, from you that, said it looks gorgeous. It's a beautiful game. The, so the original game is good. The, this, uh, money, I'm still kind of in the intro area as far as it's still telling me, hey, if you do this, you can get binoculars uh, out. Right. Oh, you haven't really got into it properly. Well, yet, I've, I've played through the first three missions. I've got my m malaria medication and, and whatever else. So. Um, I won't give away too much for the storyline. I was but, about um, to say, where are you? But okay, let's not uh, go yeah, into that. So, so, but how would you compare it to Far Cry, the first one? Um, I would say it is graphically a little bit better. Right. Um, but it's but not revolutionary like the first one. Not was. revolutionary. No, it's well. Yep. How much? I mean, last time, last one was gorgeous. So. Yeah. Um, Definitely made improvements to the physics engine, although I haven't seen as much physics stuff going on as like what we saw in Crisis. 
Okay. So there's a lot more physics up. Now I've got everything turned on to ultra high on, mm. on this system. So um, and I think I might just need to play through it a bit more and see what happens. We'll see how, how it affects the hardware as more stuff, more action stuff goes on and things are blowing up all around me and all mm. that type of stuff. But, but you know, your comments about, you know, it's a bit console-ish, you don't think they've sort of dumbed it down so that consoles can have. handle it? I, I think they did. What yeah. way do you think that that's happening? Well, I, I think that they could have gone further. The fact that my system uh, can run, I mean, it's not as, it's not an SLI system, so I've got a single card solution. Yeah. Yes, it's one of the fastest cards available on the market at the yeah. moment. And it's no slouch of a, a CPU, an Extreme Edition 6800 uh, you know, uh -huh. CPU. So it's, yeah. a, it's a three gig. Extreme Edition quad core, but so it's not, again, look good on there, that's right? not the yeah, but, but I mean, <coughs> it's not uh, the CPU's six months old plus, so so but still, the fact they can run everything at maximum, absolute maximum, oh, tells me, I see what you mean. but it's yep. a console game because uh, a lot of other game manufacturers would, yeah, you can run it on on latest PC, medium detail, it's yep. gonna run beautifully. Um, six yeah. months' time, when you get a new graphics card, you're going to be able to crank it up to high. Yeah, and you'll see an extra Yeah, but they, they haven't done that with this and because it was designed for consoles. Mm. Well, with consoles in mind. In mind, yeah. In mind. So PCs are kind of sitting there twiddling their thumbs. If you buy a PC now, get a fairly high-end PC now, you're going to see a lot of life from it because a lot of games are designed for both. Right, yeah. Um, same thing, with all, even, even um, the market in general, Wrath of the Lich King, um, is coming very close. It's yeah, that's uh, the add-on for uh, WoW. For World of Warcraft. Yep. Yeah, add-on for World of Warcraft. Now they upgrade the graphics engine in World of Warcraft. Um, yep. The latest patch, the 3.02 patch they released last week. Uh, a lot of people were screaming, oh no, my graphics are so slow, and I'm like, turn off your shadows. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's turning off their stencil shadows, which automatically got put on for everybody. So uh -huh. it was bringing most PCs to its knees, but the PC, uh, the Black Widow, just runs again with everything on maximum, no problems at all. I was going to run yeah. some benchmarks and show people what, what um, settings in the control panel make what yeah. differences, but I can't do those tests on my PC because it just runs flat out the whole time, no matter what you do. So what I have to do is actually put a mid-range graphics card in there and show people what they can do to improve this game, which is going on to five, four years old, four or five years old. So there is people out there who are playing with it. Yeah, I guess, you know, first-person shooter game developers have mm -hmm. to keep consoles in mind yep. and mo massively multiplayer PC games have to keep, you know, a broad spectrum of different specifications in mind. That's so right. So they're making... So ma both sides are being sort of dumped yeah, down so just to be able to cater for all their customers. So, I mean, how hard is it going to be for the high-end graphics card manufacturers and CPU manufacturers to sell? I mean, that was their prime audience. I mean, that's... Pretty much so dead. It's good for the gamer. The, the, high, the high end is not. Um, it's yeah. not the high end that it used to be. Well, I, I just built. A, uh, not built, but got a, a you know the ultimate uh, gaming rig uh, for mm -hmm. a friend of ours uh, yep. to play uh, uh, Warhammer online, and and yeah, that's a, a fairly inexpensive PC compared to what you know that type of level of hardware, SLI setups, and you yeah. know uh, extreme edition CPUs and stuff like that so cheap now it's crazy so you can put together a really high-end system mm. to play any of these games perfectly thanks to consoles <laughs> well, ironic, well, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah kind of ironic but um, <laughs> I would prefer to see some some better stuff coming out from the game developers but yeah. uh, we'll see what they do with Blizzard do with Starcraft and stuff like that I guess well I mean Starcraft has got a huge following in Korea mm -hmm. and you know well, low-end PC so well that, yeah, that's you know I don't think you can over, you can overgeneralise that, but yeah, I think you know it's not the same sort of high end mm -hmm. that you might see in other parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, guys, tell us what you think. Um, console is good for first person shooters, bad for first person shooters. I say, cause mm. personally, say no. Nah, forget about getting console <laughs> version of the game. Um, yeah, you prefer a real version on PC. I say, well, <laughs> I can understand why the manufacturers are doing it. Yeah. Because it's going to sell games, um, but I say it's. Um, limiting our limiting the potential of PC oh, of the of the experience. Mm. Um, yeah, basically they're dumbing it down for console games. So I say cons making it for consoles in the long run is bad, but it makes for companies more money. Is so that good? Click or bad? on the comment button. We want to hear what you have to yeah, say. Yeah, bad, good. Uh, not really caring much. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Talk to you next week, guys. See ya.